here. I have not added any product. It it looks like a little a little curl right there. <laughs> Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be applying the Soft and Beautiful Botanicals No Lie No Mix Texturizer for sensitive scalps to my head. Um, I usually relax with the Soft and Beautiful in the pink box, the regular relaxer, but this is a texturizer. It'll be the first time that I'm using this on my relaxed hair. My new growth, um, I'm just going to be using it on my new growth. I just want to make that clear because I'm transitioning from relaxed to text lax. So I'm just going to put this on my new growth and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, it's interesting that it says it has two applications in here and it's just, just, just to be like a little small box like this. But I'll definitely open it so you guys can see it. It says that it's ultra nourishing coconut olive shea vitamin E and aloe. I'm going to show you what it has right here on the box in the back. It looks like it has two of the relaxers or texturizers, two shampoos, deep conditioner, and a light cream moisturizer. One of the things that was most interesting to me, if you look at the bottom right here on the ingredients, on the relaxer right here, it does have aloe vera, sunflower oil, argan oil, argan, argan oil, olive oil, shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, mango butter, tea tree oil. It has a lot of good oils and moisturizers without you having to apply them yourself because I know a lot of people will put oils and conditioners in their relaxer but this has already got it done for you super super moisturizing ingredients in here I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it right quick and show you guys what's in here okay so oh my gosh <laughs> these are super small <laughs> whoa hold on I dropped it when I tell y'all this is small, no wonder two come in here. I don't know why they said two applications because, um, no, you're going to need both of these little things to equal up to like a regular size relaxer. Like you can't hold a regular relaxer in your hands like this. It's usually like this big, like a, you know, a relaxer, you know, a little taller than this, but I just want y'all to see the, the difference. Like, these are little, 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 little. But anyway, it comes with two of these. I definitely would be using both of them. Um, let's see. Let me just take everything out right quick. Okay, so here we go. So it has the two little bitty cups right here. It does have the directions in here in multiple languages. It does not have any gloves. Um, so you'll need your own gloves. It does not have a wooden spatula because there's nothing to mix in here. So you'll use your own. Um, I usually use like an applicator brush. I'll show you guys in the video. But anyways, so it does come with two cream moisturizers. It's like a hair moisturizer. Place a small amount in your hand lightly massaging your hair brush or comb as desired so it's like a basic moisturizer for your hair and it has the two shampoos you'll definitely need all of this and want for one application because you want to make sure you get all of the 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 chemical out of your hair and then here are two packs that are together you can cut it down the middle leave in conditioner It says with with olive organ, olive oil, aloe, and vitamin E. On the back, it tells you to rinse your hair, towel dry, apply the leave-in conditioner over your entire head, consider your hair type, use a generous amount for deep conditioning, a small amount for light conditioning, thoroughly massage leave-in conditioner from roots to the end of the hair, making sure all hair is completely saturated. Keep leave-in conditioner in your hair style as desired. So leave to me, leave-in conditioners and moisturizers are very similar. Um, the moisturizer might be a little more thicker than the leave-in conditioner. But anywho, this is what comes in the kit right here. And now we're going to get ready to apply. I also forgot to tell you guys that if I run out of that shampoo and feel like I need more, I have this Silk Elements Olive neutralizing shampoo with avocado and silk so if I feel like I need more and you know the pink is still in my hair 
from the relaxer. Then I'll use some of this right here. This will be my first time using this. I've never used it before. But it's just good to have extra neutralizing shampoo because usually the ones that come with the kit isn't enough. And then as far as the deep conditioner, I'll also add this right here. This is the Silk Elements. This is the Silk Elements Strength and Silk Cholesterol with Coconut Oil and Silk. So I'll be using this as well as a deep conditioner. So what I actually ended up doing is emptying both of the little cups out into a bowl just to make applying the texturizer easier. So I wanted to start at the crown of my head because that's the most resistant part. So I basically made like a T shape and then I'm going to come back and do the front. But basically starting at the crown of my head, working back, and then I'm going to do the bottom left and then I'm going to come back up and do the front. Once I've applied the texturizer to all of my new growth, I'm going to do the edge just last and then I'm going to immediately rinse out I'll show you guys along the way how long it took me I'm timing this on my watch just to keep up with how fast I'm going so I'm gonna let you guys watch this and then I'll chime in afterwards It took me about 15-16 minutes to apply the entire texturizer to my hair including my edges so I'm just going to go ahead and use the neutralizing shampoo that came with the kit. After shampooing three times thoroughly I no longer saw any pink. So I don't understand why it says step three is a deep conditioner when step three is the leave-in conditioner. Number three is the leave-in. So why would they call that a why would they call a leave-in conditioner a deep conditioner? Like, there's two different things. Deep conditioner, you rinse out. A leave-in conditioner, you don't. But I just thought I'd put that out there so y'all know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the leave-in conditioner in my hair along with the silk elements. And then I'm going to rinse it out. I'm not going to leave it in. I'm going to use it as a deep conditioner and not a leave-in conditioner. Okay, so I'm done washing the texturizer out. I shampooed three times. So those two bottles were actually enough. If it was only one bottle, then I would have went ahead and used my silk elements, but two of those bottles was definitely enough. Um, so I'm not expecting like a big, big difference right now because it's just my new growth, but I'm just letting y'all see. I think um, maybe like three to six months, then, you know, I'd be able to know if it was working three to six months from now. But right now, currently, it just still looks, it looks, it looks relaxed to me. And I even skipped the smoothing step. But like I say, I'll give it a few months to see. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the leave-in conditioner to my ends. And then I'm going to put the Silk Elements cholesterol over my entire head. This smells like, it's a light scent. I can't pinpoint it. But it's, it's like a light, fresh scent. I'm going to just focus that on my ends and travel up. I noticed that the relaxer... Um, it rinsed out pretty quickly. Like it, it doesn't take a lot to get it out. Cause after the second time that I shampooed the water, the, well, the suds was pretty much 
it was pretty much white. It was like a super, super, super pale, but that for the most part, it was like white. But I just went ahead and shampooed a third time just to be like sure. And then once I do this conditioner and rinse it out, then I'll be good to go. So just applying these little packets to my hair. Now I'm going to go ahead with, this is what the Silk Elements looks like. It's like a, a yellowish tint and it smells like, it smells like some kind of sweet butter. <laughs> it's, it's thick. It's very thick. It's not runny at all. It's very thick. I actually think I'm going to start applying my deep conditioner in sections for better, better absorption. There, that looks like there's a little texture still left right in here and right in here now that I'm applying this conditioner to my hair. So I'm just going to gather all of my hair up into the top of my head and basically just put it in a little bun. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like with the conditioner applied. I'm going to go ahead and put my cap on. Let that sit, um, probably 15, at least, at least 15 minutes or more. And then I'll come back to let you see what it looks like. And then I'm going to rinse it out. So it's been 15 minutes. It's nice and steamy in there. I'm going to get ready to take this off. Woo. I love how this stuff melts. That's the elements don't play. It melts in your it look like I can see a little waviness in my roots. Can y'all see that? It still looks a little wavy. Looks a little wavy. I'm going to go and rinse this out and I will be back. Okay, so this is my hair after it's um it's air dry about 50 to 70%. It's not all the way dry, but um, just wanted to let you look at it before I begin to blow dry it. So down in the roots, so down in the roots, you can still see some texture down in there. Let me come on this side. Hold on. You can still see some texture down in there. Let's see. Let me get a nice clean part. There we go. Now. So it definitely left texture. Because I didn't have a whole bunch of new growth. But for those of you who watch me, I know I, I relax every four to six weeks. So... The new growth that I did have is still texture down in here. You can definitely see all this texture right in here. I can. So, actually, I think I'm going to leave that part right there. I'm going to get ready to blow dry my hair. I have not detangled my hair. I have not added any product. Look at this little... It it looks like a little a little curl right there. <laughs> Am I tripping? Hold on. Right here. Oh no. That looked like a little curl forming right there. Something. Anywho, I have not added any product. I have not detangled yet, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna do it in section. I'm being extra careful and gentle because I don't want to make any more mistakes with ripping my hair out like I did last time. 
So I'm gonna wear a side part. I was trying to figure out if I want to put my hair up in a bun or if I wanted to flat iron it or what I wanted to do with it. But anyways, I usually just, usually with my relaxed hair, I put my leave-in conditioner on, put my heat protectant, and I just go from the bottom, go up and detangle it. But now what I'm gonna start doing is sectioning it off two sections in the front, two sections in the back, and I'ma detangle, I'ma apply the leave-in, the heat protectant, and detangle section by section by section by section, instead of like just all at the same time. Like, no. We're gonna be extra, extra careful, especially if I'ma do this right with the transitioning. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with my normal routine where I section my hair off. I apply my leave-in conditioner and heat protectant and then I detangle and then I proceed to blow dry my hair in sections. So while I'm detangling, I just want to make sure I'm extra careful. There's Omari in the background because that's how I accidentally pulled a bald spot in the top of my head. And um, so from now on when I do blow drying and detangling, I'm like extra, extra careful. So here is a quick length check of how my hair is looking. It looks like I'm almost bra strap length. So the top of my head is the most thick and coarsest. So you're going to actually see me switch over to a wide tooth comb right here because I felt like the little teeth on the um, hair dryer were just too thin. So the wide tooth comb was definitely a better option for thicker areas. Here's where my hair looks completely blow dry. I still have a lot of body and movement in my hair. So now that I have my hair blow dried like this, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. I'm trying to figure out if I want to flat iron it or if I want to put it in a protective hairstyle. So I went to sleep and I woke up the next morning, took my bonnet off and I was like, you know what? Today is a rainy day. So I just decided to go ahead and put my hair in a protective hairstyle. My favorite is a bun, of course. So I'm gonna just brush all of my hair up into a ponytail, put my gel on through my edges and put it in a bun. Something quick, simple, and I could get ready for work pretty quickly for the next few days. So I'm going to let you watch me put my hair up into a bun and then I'm going to chime back in just a little bit. So I really couldn't see it until now after I applied the gel, but now that the gel is on my hair, you can actually see all of the texture around the base of my hair, which is the new growth. All of the new growth is texturized and it's just weird that I can see it now the gel is on my hair. So now I kind of understand why a lot of ladies with natural hair use gel on their hair because it seems to help your curls pop or your texture to stick out more prominently. So I thought that was kind of neat to be able to see that the texturizer did work all in all. Um, I can definitely see the results now. So as my hair starts to grow out more, I'll be able to see more of the texture along the lengths. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.